has some really tough defense. A uh, little way to break down the person, get them thinking one thing, then hopefully go back to another and get some success with a submission. So I'll start here with my partner. We're gonna be on the back control already, both hooks. Whenever we're on the back, as much as we can to really stabilize the position, if we can get an over-under grip and lock our hands, this is gonna be really beneficial for us here. Sometimes now when I'm attacking the collar, uh, my partner here has good defense, his hands get in the way, he doesn't allow me to get a hold of his collar really. I can almost always switch to a wrist control and then I control my own wrist, uh, very similar to a Kimura grip right here. Actually the same grip as a Kimura, squeeze it tight to his chest. So now from here, what I'm gonna do is put the foot on the hip, adjust here across with my other foot, and I'm gonna let him fall down and attack the armbar. Notice as, as he's falling, I try to stay upright and seated. I don't wanna to fall to my back, so I'm gonna make a little hole for him. He falls in, unwrap his head, right away, attacking for the straight arm lock. So we got to change the camera a little bit, come over here, get a better angle. Now that I'm starting to have a good grip on this arm, nothing saying that I can't break this grip and start to finish. Most people, however, will really, you know, they'll grip their collar, he's sucked up on his elbow, makes it very difficult for me to break this loose. So right away, I'm gonna have to move it a little bit again. Camera a little bit. Now I come under here, I keep the grip on the wrist. Come here to his collar with my other hand. Kind of be, try to be sneaky about it. Leg comes off the head. I'm going to pick him up and right away up on top of the leg. Feed the grip again before he can adjust. And I try to get a nice tight grip. If I get a little detail here, if I can flip the collar and grip it, it will give me a really nice handle. Shoulder behind the head. And now I, for me personally, I like to finish double collar. Finish here with the collar choke and hopefully get a good submission. All right, so one more time all together. Start here on the back, I have my over under control. Wrist, he's defending the collar, wrist, Kimura grip, foot on the hip, but just unwrap his head, he fall over for the arm lock. He defends the arm lock. Solid squeeze, gonna be tough to break this arm out of here. Get his collar underneath here, lift, and back to the collar. For me personally, I like to go double collar. You could go bow and arrow. You could go like a standard judo choke behind the head. Lots of variations here. Hopefully that'll help you guys finish up uh, some submissions on the back. Over under control, arm bar. They defend the arm bar, lift them back up to the collar, finish the collar. Hope you enjoy this technique and stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be putting up much more of these in the future. So check us out on Facebook. Also, you can find our, a link to our website below uh, on the description of this video. Thank you.